Good morning and welcome. Today we're going to put together our shep box using a standard IAM, which is Inventor Assembly. We're going to do that and begin by selecting New from the top ribbon. And then I'm going to click on Standard IAM and click Create. Automatically, Inventor defaults to Place from Content Center. If yours says Place from Content Center, we're going to click the bottom portion of that button. And we're going to have Only Place chosen. Next, I want to go to my H drive. If this does not automatically connect to my H drive here, I want to scroll down and go first initial last name 000. And in my H drive, I want to select my left side and open. I'm going to click to place my left side. And I have another part attached to my cursor. I'm going to press escape to let go of that. And then I'm going to scroll back just a little bit to give myself some room to work. Next, I need to ground this part so it doesn't move anymore. So over here in our browser, I want to right click on left side and I'm going to come all the way down to grounded. You can see it puts a little pin right here in the yellow square. Next, I want to get my next part. I'm going to place, go back to my H drive, and I want to get one of my top and back side. Click open. I'm going to click this part for the top up here and press escape to let go of the next part that's connected to my cursor. I'm going to constrain these using mate and flush. This one right here is mate. I'm going to click and I want to mate kind of like gluing together. I want to mate the skinny side of my top to right up here of my left side. And I'm going to click apply. You can see that my tops are not evened up yet and my backs are not lined up either. So in order to do that, we're going to go and change our tool to flush. I'm going to flush the top of the left and the top of the top sides and click apply. Next, I need the backs lined up. So I'm going to do that by using my rotate tool. Click your rotate tool here. And I'm going to swing this around until I can see the back of each one of my parts. Press escape to let go of the rotate tool. I'm going to flush again. I want to flush the back of the left and the back of the top. And click apply. After I do that, I'm going to go home. Press cancel. Next, I want to take and insert my bottom in. So I'm going to go back to the place menu. And I'm going to go to my H drive and find my bottom and click open. I'm going to click and place my bottom in here. Press the escape key to let go of the next part that's attached to your cursor. Notice how I place this so I have a little bit of area going around here to separate the two. Next. This is going to take some zooming in and zooming out. So pay close attention. I'm going to constrain. I want to mate the inside back of the slot, the groove that's in the left side. I don't want the bottom. I want the back side here in the slot. And then I'm going to zoom back out again, or I can go home. And I want to zoom in on this narrow edge for my bottom. Let me show you where I am again. So I have the back of the groove selected and now I'm going to zoom in on the edge for my bottom. Once I can select that skinny edge on the bottom, I'm going to click to select it and click apply. Then I'm going to go home. The next thing I want to do is I want to mate the top of my bottom piece to the bottom surface of this groove. So first I'm going to select the top of my bottom and then I'm going to zoom in on this groove and I want the bottom edge of that groove to get selected. The arrow should be pointing up and click and select apply. Let's go home again. Press cancel. My part is constrained with two 
mates and this is in that groove on the left side of my part next I need it to fit into the groove in the top so I'm going to pull this back just a little bit and I'm going to constrain again this is going to take another mate I want to mate look at where my mouse is the inside of the groove on your top part let me show you where I was again so I'm going to put my cursor right here on the groove for my top and I'm going to zoom in and I want the inside back of that groove go home now I'm going to rotate again and I want to select this top part of the bottom once I can rotate around till I can see the skinny edge I'm going to press escape and I'm going to zoom in on this skinny edge once I can get my arrow to point away from the skinny edge I'm going to click and select apply let's go home now our bottom is constrained in there press cancel I'm going to zoom out just a little bit I have two more sides to put in I'm going to click place and in my H drive I want to come down and I want to select the right side and open I'm going to put my right side up here by the top and I'm going to press escape once again to let go of the part that automatically attaches to my cursor let's constrain this one I want to constrain this is going to be a mate and two flushes so first I want to mate I want to mate the skinny end of my top and this side of my right side so that it will flip it around and put the groove towards the bottom and click apply next I need to flush and I'm going to flush my tops the top of this part and the top of your right side click apply once again I need to rotate around so I can see the back surface of these two parts so that I can flush those click your rotate tool we're going to rotate around till we can see the back of these two parts press the escape key to let go of rotate and we're going to flush again I want the back of my top and the back of my right side and click apply go home there's one more part to add this one that's down here let's press cancel on our constraint window and we're going to go place again in your H drive we're going to go down till we can see a top and back we need one more of those parts and click open and here we're going to zoom out a little bit and I'm going to click my backside up here press escape to let go of the next part that's attached to your cursor and we're going to constrain again we're going to mate this side of my back to the inside of this right side part so I'm going to mate the skinny side of my back and then I'm going to rotate around clicking my rotate tool I'm going to rotate around till I can see the inside of the right let me show you that again so I want the skinny end of the back the part you just placed and then I'm going to use my rotate tool and I'm going to rotate around until I can see that inside of the right I'm going to flush and click the inside of the right here and click apply let's go home you can see that this part is inside of my shut box so we need to add two more flushes we're going to flush the top of this part and the top of your right side click apply and with the last flush that we're going to do we're going to click the back side of here and the back side of your 
right and click apply press cancel go home our shut box is assembled together let's go up to our orange capital letter i go to save as we're going to save this to our h drive And we're going to call this Shep Box Assembly. And click Save. Good job. Next is putting your flipper assembly together. 